Can I find these fast coins, please? That killed my power. I just noticed that. Oh, well, I bumped that all up. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ultimate Custom Night. Last video we finally got our first office, the sister location office, and we also started struggling doing Ladies Night 1, which I've done a little bit of testing for and a little bit of research over one specific character, but I want to do some more testing this episode so that way you guys can understand what I'm going to be doing as we go on with the night. I'm not going to go over all the characteristics of these animatronics as I've already done that in the last episode, so if you haven't seen that already, make sure you go check that out so you know exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. So before we do get started with today's challenge, I want to do some testing with Chica because she is the main animatronic that I had problems with when we did Ladies Night 1. So we're going to go ahead and set her to 20 and we'll read her stats here. While Chica doesn't care if the music box is wound up, she can grow tired of the selection playing. When the sound of pots and pans stops, you only have a short amount of time to change the music. The global music box can also soothe her. Doing my research and a little bit of testing, there's some weird mechanic that I don't know if it's intentional or not that works with Chica and all we have to do is is flip the global music box on at every 15 second interval and that's it really. I can have the power generator on, but every 15, 14 seconds, I just need to flip from the power generator to the global music box, and that's simply it. Last episode, I made things way too complicated by having the global music box on for more time than actually needed, so, so this time I know exactly what I'm doing, but before I do get into that, I want to do one last test with Chica just to make sure I am right, and it wasn't just a one-off thing, so let's just go ahead. Don't even need to look at any of these cameras, really. I just need to hope that Dee Dee doesn't come and summon in a character, but at the time at the very top there, Every time it hits 14 seconds, I'm going to hit the global music box now and 15 seconds power generator and we should be good. I did a test of this just before I started recording and it went a-okay. So just to make sure that I am doing things right, every 15 seconds, we're going to go ahead and flip from the global music box to the power generator and hopefully things go all right. And that should really be it. Apart from that, I've gone ahead and wrote myself a little notepad for where all the times take place. So 1 a.m. is at 45 seconds, 2 a.m. is at 1 minute 30, 44, 45. Of course we get DD, that doesn't matter. Apart from that, that seems to be the strategy to go. Thank you, Rockstar Freddy. That was very nice of you. So knowing the strategy for Ladies Night 1 now, it should make things a whole lot easier. And let me check. Ladies Night 2 just adds Nightmare Mangle, who isn't the pain at all. And Ladies Night 3 adds in Funtime Foxy, who we can death coin. So apart from that, the strategy of knowing what to do with Chica should help us out a lot doing these next three levels. So that should make things a bit easier. So if you guys are excited for this episode, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new it's free you can unsubscribe at any time but it really does help me out a lot that you guys support the channel by sticking around and thank you guys so much for the support but without further ado let's go ahead and try ladies night one again and let's see if this strategy actually does work so we're going to go over to camera two the duck system we're going to place that there and like i said every 14 seconds we're going to go ahead and flip the global music box on and then we'll go ahead and put the power generator on so 14 15. There we go. And that should be it. So every time we need to flip up the camera, I'm just going to go ahead and close the top vent. And then we'll go ahead and reset the ventilation. And everything should be good to go. I just need to pay attention to the time. And we should be good. So, yeah. Apart from that, close the right vent for JJ. And it should be good. So 44 and 45. And we're camera kind of stalling everyone else. So this really shouldn't be a big issue after that. So hopefully that makes things a bit easier and we can actually complete these levels this time. Wait until 14 seconds. So every 14 seconds, that's when we do this. And I'm wondering if that's going to be the case in 5020 mode as well. Maybe things won't be as difficult knowing all of this stuff that I didn't know in the past. I forgot about Ballora though. I need to pay attention to that. I forgot there were other animatronics in the building and I'm not just paying attention to these ones. Let's get ready. Okay, this might be a bit difficult actually. Alright. Oh, there we go. Alright, I messed up a bit there. Hopefully that doesn't cause anything bad. There we go. And there we go. Just ignore the parrot. We really don't want to die to a silly mistake like that. So Jack or Chica there. I don't know if I should be worried about that just yet. I'm keeping the office relatively cool. In fact, I might be able to keep the fan on for the remainder of the night since I have the power generator on for the entire night, basically. So we might be good to go. Just need to make sure the power doesn't drain too much battery, but I'm mainly focusing on the time right now. 
and nothing else, which is why Ballora nearly got me there. So, just keep up this repetition. Alright. She's not even that fully formed, so I think we must have done something right, which makes me feel a bit more accomplished. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. There we go. That really wasn't that difficult once we know how to get the hang of Chica. Chica is another one of those animatronics that when I played in my free time trying to get to the highest score, Chica wasn't in the roster as well because I had no idea how she worked. But now that I know that, I know that I can just alternate between the global music box and the power generator just like that. Next is Ladies Night 2, which literally just adds one new animatronic, which is Nightmare Mangle, who really doesn't matter at all. She's the exact same as Baby. All we have to do is camera stall her and apart from that it's going to be the exact same chica stays the same hopefully we can get through this night with relative ease as well so camera oh wait we need to happy frog can't forget about happy frog actually <laughs> happy frog is another one of those animatronics that i forgot about so at least we got her there i didn't even put the heater on that whole night so that was pretty good so maybe we don't even need to put the heater on but just to be safe and we do add more animatronics in the future i am going to be hitting the heater on before I flip up the camera just to be safe for those other duct system animatronics. There we go. No worries. Just remembered we need to keep this office cool as possible. Waiting for it. Four. Five. I don't know if this really is intentional game design or not. It seems a bit more less RNG and more repetition if that makes sense. So go away Chica. Okay, there we go, that wasn't too bad at all, but it, it does, there is a lot of RNG in this game, mostly with Foxy, Funtime Foxy, Toy Freddy, after that everyone else isn't really that difficult, you know, this game is difficult, I'm gonna say that now, it's difficult to learn all the animatronics and what to do with them, but once you know how this, how the basics work and not what the, oh, I completely missed that 15 second interval. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. Nope, we're good. All right. But once you learn all the other animatronics and everyone that doesn't have RNG put into their system, it's really not too bad. Now, I'm saying that now, but I know it's going to come bite me back later on. Once again, I forgot that 15 second mark. I'm talking and it's making me forget that every 15 seconds I need to alternate. So... I'm probably going to stop talking as much when we get onto levels like this and hopefully... Oh, hello. Go away, please. I'm probably going to do less talking as this series goes on. Once again, I talk and I miss that interval. But it hasn't had anything bad come out of it yet, so let's just keep this in mind. I'm going to keep on paying attention to the time. And we'll just keep it on smooth sailing. Alright, ventilation's about to go out. That should be everything. I can just keep the global music box on if I want to. Because 3, 2, 1, there we go, 6 a.m. See, it really isn't that difficult once you nail down all the animatronics and what they do. It's just you panic way too much because there's 50 animatronics to go after. I think I overcomplicate things a bit too much. So Ladies Night 1 and 2 all cracked down. Next, Ladies Night 3. Let's see what's different here. So Chica goes up to a 10. Toy Chica goes up to a 20. The only difference this night really is that we're going to have to keep the fan on the entire night. And we're going to have to Death Coin Funtime Foxy. But we should have enough time to buy the Death Coin before Circus Baby or Nightmare Mangle appear in the hallway. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. So Power Generator on. And we're going to go ahead... Get rid of you. Right, fast coin hunting. I just need to pay attention to every so often. I need to put the whatever you call it on. Puppet box. Oh god, you're there already. Eight. Nine. Oh god. I just need one more. One more. Oh, well, I bumped that all up. All right, whatever. Whatever. Come on. Come get me. I bumped that one up. I was I way too slow. It. You know what? I'm just going to keep the global music box on. And close those two. Can I find these fast coins, please? Thank you. It's only five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
buy that. Death coin you. Did I get you? Yeah, I did. Alright. That killed my power. I just noticed that. We'll have to make the best of that. We should be good, though. I don't think we've used that much power. I don't think we've used that much power in the previous night, so... I think we should still should be good. Even with 27% power. I'm hoping so anyway. That... That first stretch was really the worst part of the run, so... As long as we can recover from that, we should be good. Well, that didn't go too well. That first stretch just killed my power. I need to be way quicker next time. Ah! Scrap baby, all right. Let's see how many pieces I can cut you into. Let's not. Let's, let's not. That's a bit better this time. Let's not jinx myself. Alright. That's a bit better this time. Get rid of you. Alright. So if we keep the fan on now for the remainder of the night, it should be good. It was really just that first stretch of trying to get all the Faz coins. That messed me up there, so... Apart from that... We should hopefully be all right. Yeah, that was a lot better this time around. That was a lot better. There we go. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right, 1,800 points. That's almost tops our high score. Bloody hell, alright, yeah, that that took quite a bit of learning right there. I'm really glad that I'm taking the time to complete all of these challenges, that's going to be helpful. I'm really glad I'm taking the time to go through all of these challenges, because one by one, I'm learning how each of the animatronics work, and that way when we play 50-20 mode, I actually know what to do when, and how long to do it for. Like the global music box, I didn't know how it works, but now that I know that, I could just alternate between the two. How it's going to work with other animatronics like the puppet and lefty, how I'm going to have to do it every so often, maybe it doesn't matter, maybe it does, we're just going to have to find out. So I might do some more testing with Chica the puppet and lefty later on, but for now, that was some pretty good progress there so all three ladies nights nice done next we can move on to creepy crawlies which all right doesn't look too bad the puppet once again so we're gonna have to alternate between the global music box and the power generator again i'm gonna try doing it every 15 seconds see if that does the same as with chica enid mangle and spring trap are pretty easy we just need to close the vents whenever we flip up the camera same with Withered Chica, actually. So there's four animatronics here that we can knock out just by closing the vent door. Withered Bonnie, we flip on the mask. Phantom Mangle isn't an issue at all. Music Man might be the biggest deal here. Molten Freddy, once again, is another vent animatronic. And it's mostly going to be these four here that could be the biggest deal. But what I'm going to have to do is flip on the heater right before I flip up the camera. So I'm going to be alternating between the puppet, the power generator, and just before I flip up the camera, I'm going to put the heater on to send all four of those animatronics back to the back. Let's go ahead and give this a go. I think this will be a one attempt thing. Oh boy. Put you there. And just in case, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. So every 15 seconds, once again, I'm going to go ahead and put the global music box on and see what that does. If it does nothing, well, then we'll learn that. Up next. There. And there. I didn't put the heater on. I need to learn to do that. But the puppet seems to be working for now. So that's a plus. Click the fan on. I don't know if there's any fan animatronic that we might need. Thank you, Didi, for answering that question for me. Oh. Get rid of you. Pretty simple. Thank you. That was Nightmare... Nightmare Chica, which all we need to do is flip on the AC. And then we're good to go. Sorry you didn't get to see much of her, but I really didn't want to take my chances with that. I don't even need to close the vent. I could just wait until I flip up the camera and I'll be good to go. That's really it. Alright, 
So yeah, not too bad. I don't think I need to close any other door. I don't think Scrap Trap was here. I'm not sure. Was Scrap Trap here? Well, I'll figure out if I survive him or not. Ooh, High Spring Trap. I see you there. There we go. So yeah, flipping on the heater isn't too bad in between the two. In fact, I should probably keep my middle finger from clicking on W and three at the same time. Good thing that... That's not good. That's really not good. I think that is going to leave it for today's video. We got through Ladies Night 1, 2, and 3 with relative ease. Thank goodness we know how to deal with Chica now, but the puppet is going to be our next problem with the global music box. But that is going to be tomorrow's problem. So next time we'll try to do Creepy Crawlies 1 and 2 as they seem to be the same thing. Afton is only on 1 at the bottom there, so shouldn't be a big deal at all. And then we can move on to the rest of these chaotic challenges. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy again another video of the Ultimate Custom Night. If you did, make sure you leave a good old like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing? If you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell, make sure it's ring so you're notified every time I upload and you never miss it video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.